Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do just a quick review on this uh, Chin's 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, low temperature heating, smart lithium battery. And I'll just go over a few things that I found out in about the past 10 days of how this thing's been doing. And the quick answer to, is this battery smart? It is. It's very smart and that is very convenient. So when this thing showed up, it showed up with about 40% charge and per the instructions that it came with, uh, I charged it down all the way and then charged it all the way back up. So what I did, I just hooked up a light to this, ran it down till it was uh, down to about five or eight percent I believe and I called that a fully discharged battery and then I used this 10 amp charger to charge it all the way back up to 100 percent and it it only running 10 amps uh, that took a long time to top this battery back up at 100 percent and by a long time I mean it was a little over eight hours to get that thing back to 100 percent so for its current application, I've just dropped this in to run my uh, drinking water system. Just up above it over there, I've got that reverse osmosis system, which some of you know about. And I've just been turning uh, the inverter on to uh, only when I'm pumping water. So... I'm not uh, using too much power off of it, and this thing's holding a charge. And let's see what it's doing. And this is after many, many days of, of use. And I'm sitting there, as you can see, 13.26. And if we look at the app that the BMS on its Bluetooth app is communicating to the phone. Uh, it's at 86% at 13.31. As uh, a little bit of a discrepancy, it's been running much, much closer. When I've changed it, I think some of it's just due to the uh, temperature change right now. And I'm getting a little assistance here. As you can see, that's P. And reading it at 80 degrees, 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That's just about exactly what we're sitting at here right now. And then it's reading all four cells. And you can see that on that third cell, I'm running just a little bit higher than the other three cells. It's been staying pretty much like that the whole time. Staying close, those cells fluctuate an awful lot, or but they stay pretty darn close throughout the whole time of monitoring it. Just a few minutes ago I checked it with with the voltmeter and the app and the voltmeter was reading 13.3 uh, and this was 13.31 so it's being very 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 close. Um, so I I'm just satisfied with running whatever the app shows as that being accurate and 86% full. And that's, like I said, I've been uh, messing around with this for about the past 10 days, using it every single day, barely putting a dent on it. I have nothing charging it up at the moment. I'm going to just go ahead and run it back down, see how long it takes. But at this rate of usage, it's going to take a while to get this thing down to zero again or, or thereabouts. And then I may just uh, put a small trickle charge panel on that just to keep it kind of topped off. But I'm not really sure yet, depending on how much longer this lasts. I mean, I'm about 10 days in, and if it goes, looks like it's going to go well over a month before it even needs a charge, I might just charge it up as needed and just leave it like this. So a couple of you that I know have this battery uh, have asked, uh, what BMS app? for the phone uh, did I download and I saw a couple of other people 
uh, using, and I'm going to show you, it's this one right here in the Play Store if you're on Android. And I just typed in BMS app, and you want to look for the one that's got that yellow dot or, you know, yellow light type thing, and it's written in Chinese, I believe that is. That's the app that I went with. It was the one that was um, highlighted uh, in the instructions for downloading the app from Chins, and it has worked perfectly. Now, when you type in BMS app on the Play Store, there's tons of them, and whether any of those others work, I couldn't tell you, but this, this one right here with the Chinese lettering, so I can't, I can't tell what it says, but that big glowing yellow. That's what I looked for, that's what I downloaded. It's been working perfectly. And this is a little further into the, the app on the Play Store, and those are the exact screens that you have to work with, three screens. Yeah, I just can't seem to hold it very still, but anyway, I just wanted to show people that actually were looking for that app. That's where you find it. So yeah, this is taking all the guesswork out of where I'm at. I can just walk out here anytime I want. Uh, the range on this doesn't seem to be as good as what uh, they advertise it to be. Uh, you, you've got to be within a few feet of this thing to work accurately. Uh, I've tried walking out to where... It, it's set up to like 30 feet or something. I have not been able to get it work at that to work at that distance. But if you're within a few feet of it, works just fine. You know, it gives you the perfect health. What mode you're in standby? I'm not discharging, so it's just in standby. There's the same thing, 13.31, but on the dial, zero amps going out, temperature. And then, this is nice to see if you ever start to get any crazy cell variation. So, yeah. So that's where I'm at with this now. So yeah, the smart version, I really wouldn't want to do anything other than smart now at this point. Now that they've got them, if you're a builder, you can build one. Um, I am not a do-it-yourself builder of these cells, so that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a drop-in package like this that works and, you know, for this application, I don't even think I'm going to need a charge controller. Now, I know that's a lot of debate around there on that, but if I'm just using that charger over there, or even just a small trickle charge uh, solar panel, I don't think I need one. And I may not use one. We'll have to see how it goes. Anyway, those are just a couple of points I wanted to, to touch up on with everybody, because I had a couple of questions. This thing is smart. I'm loving it. This is the way to go for me. And it might be for some of you too. Alright. Have a good one. Aloha.